Welcome back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we'll be taking a look at a woman's exclusive Air Jordan 4, this time in the sea foam colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. Today, we're going to be talking about a very difficult sneaker, I think, for most to actually have copped. This was more limited, I think, than expected. This was especially more limited because it was a women's exclusive, uh, but this is the Air Jordan 4 in the Seafoam colorway. So we'll go through the overview of these, jump into size and fit, followed by how I style them. Then we will conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market, and then we will follow that up with a trivia question. So let's jump right into it. I definitely have to say out of all of the Air Jordan 4s that have released in the past few years, this is definitely probably going to go in the top five for colorway options that I have seen. It is just such a clean look, but the green that they decided to select for this is so unique and so different, uh, but definitely a great color palette that I feel like will work all year round. As far as the upper goes, it's pretty simplistic in all white for the leather. We've got the caging unit, which is also in white. Underneath, you'll see some black. As we work our way up, they've just kept it pretty simple with white laces. Then we've got tumbled leather for the tongue and then hits of that just olive kind of seafoam green. I wouldn't even say it necessarily looks like seafoam green per se. It has more olive tones in person when you have this in hand, uh, but that is on the Jumpman logo and then flight is nicely embroidered in black. Let's take a look at those details then move along to the side paneling. So wrapping around to the side panels on the eyelets here, again, that just nice foam green color scheme. We've got more of that white leather, which works its way to the back of the heel underneath some black, as well as more of that green, the pull temps also in a black colorway. Uh, and then we've got just a nice black and green color combination on the side for the pull tab uh, and eyelet there. On the interior, we've got green and black, as well as that same green color colorway for the interior. As we wrap around to the lateral side, again, the same exact color combination there. And then for the midsole, the sneaker is completed with black, seafoam, and white. And then underneath for the outsole, we've got a light heather gray with white and again, that seafoam green colorway. All right, let's take a look at those last and final details.
All right, so as far as sizing goes, again, this was a women's exclusive, so this only came in women's sizing. I am a size nine in women, so I would highly recommend just sticking to your size. I do have higher Chanero feet, so depending on whether or not you have flat or wider feet, that could also differentiate just because we have different types of feet. So take that into consideration when you're deciding on which size range will work best for you. All right, so now let's jump into how I styled this beautiful color combination. For this look, I didn't want to keep it too monochromatic just because the entirety of the upper is pretty much all white. I wanted to bring some white into the mix. So here you have it, this button down cropped long sleeve collared shirt paired it with some denim green pants this time these are a little bit longer a little bit more baggy uh, and a different shade of green so don't be afraid to mix and match green denims i feel like they just complement the white hues of the sneaker perfectly and it kind of just goes for this nice matchy matchy feel when i feel like you bring more green hues into your denim this look kept it pretty monochromatic wanted to really play off this minty green kind of feel so I wore this silk corset that has a nice tone to it which matches this denim perfectly and I feel like it just complements the green quite nicely and plays off of the white hues of the sneaker So for this look, I wanted to keep it pretty comfy and casual. So I wore some sweats, but just more dressier, vibrant sweats that I feel like really complement the color options in the sneakers. So we've got a stripe look, but it's white with a couple different teal options. It's not obviously the exact same color scheme that you see with the sneaker, but I feel like it just vibes and just goes. And this is just a great, nice, you know, I'm in my sweats, but I want to be different. I don't want it to be monochromatic. I want to have a little bit of splash of color. You let me know down below what was your favorite look of the three or how would you style these? You know how people say it caught me unexpected. Well, I really wasn't prepared for all of this love and affection. Normally I would be scared, but I'm aware. Special. So let me take us somewhere where we could be alone. When I look at you, I see a pretty picture. You're the sun on the sky, and we're so complete. Let me water you, my flower. I'll teach ya how to open up real nice, baby. baby. <laughs> conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So these retailed at $210 and currently these are going for pretty 
good price point on the resale market, which is between 300 to 320. Again, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that this is a great silhouette, but not just that, it's a great colorway. And these were very, very difficult to get, very limited. All right, so now we are going to end with a trivia question. That trivia question is, besides the seafoam name that was given to these, what is the other name that some people have been calling this specific color? Be sure to leave those answers in the comment box. And again, we'll be telling those up. And at the end of the month, the person with the most correct answers, we will be sending a prize to. Uh, and if there is a tie, we will be doing a raffle. All right, good luck to everybody who's doing the trivia for the month. Uh, that is it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. Be sure to hit that subscribe on your way out. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below and hit that notification box. We do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name's Marissa. We'll catch you all next episode. Service celebration, we may meet, I feel like I'm